Yo, what's going on, everybody? We're going to be covering mutants today, but first up, I just want to give a huge shout out to Ape Society and Boss Cat Billionaire. Boss Cat Billionaire bought 111k Ada's worth of Ape Society the other night and boosted Ape Society to Cardano's new all time high. It's really cool to see all of these projects pumping right now. We have Space Buds finally breaking that 3k barrier that it was at for like a month after all the FUD came in. Cabins are continuing to go crazy. Dirt Birds hit a 1k floor. Drapes are all the way up to 315. Lunatics, which just came out, hit a floor of 222. Introverts hit a floor of 400. It's honestly just so refreshing to see all this volume coming into Cardano. We stayed here. We were patient. We continued to buy. We continued to hold. And now we're finally getting this. We're finally getting the pump. And who knows how long this pump is going to last. We all know a lot of it is coming from CNFTCon. A lot of it is coming from other people from other chains, which is nice to see. Hopefully they do stay. I don't know why you would buy if you're not going to stay. So I'm leaning towards that, but you never really know inside of a bear market. But this is so crazy. Everything is doing horribly right now. But inside this bear market, Cardano is just this shiny little gem that's somehow pushing through. But like I said earlier, this video is focused primarily on mutants. And mutant crocs were the very first collection that they had minted. It went down a little bit they started working on their store called epoch.art and then once the proof of concept came about that these were going to give you cardano based off of how many you staked and based off of how many royalties they earned on their marketplace these things skyrocketed some of the cool things that set epoch.art apart from the other marketplaces is that it has a zero percent listing fee and it also has the lowest marketplace fee at one percent now JPEG store is still in the lead, but Epoch.art is slowly building and it could take some of the market share in the future, which I predict it actually will. Another really cool thing that they have added are these bundles. So if you go over to Epoch.art and then you click at the top left where it says bundles, you'll get this listing right here and it shows all of the bundles that are available. And you can also search by project. So let's go look at Mutant Crocs. You can see that there's three bundles here, one for two assets, one for 10 and one for four. So you can scroll through these, see if you like them, see if you think this is a decent price and you can buy them all at once. Next up are these Mutant Toads and this was their second collection. These were also going to give you ADA based off of the royalties for their marketplace, but a lower percent than the Crocs. This was to prevent the Crocs from being devalued. However, there still wasn't a whole lot of volume being traded on Epoch at the time, so these didn't sell out right away, and there were still a thousand left over. The last 1,000 were sold a bit later, and they were sold for 100 ADA each, and they sold out instantly. Now, here we get to the mice, and this was their third mint. These were going for 75 ADA to mint them, and what you would get in return wasn't ADA anymore. What you would get from these was a percentage of their mutant token. Something that I really want to point out is that 94% of all these mice are being staked. This project has also already created their own staking platform, and you can go over to dao.mutant-nft.com, and you can sign in with your wallet, and then you can stake your NFTs there. So over here on the rewards tab, I wanted to show that there's 8,980 mutants that are eligible for rewards, but there are a total of 13,681 mutants that are actually staked. There used to be a staking button up here that would show the calendar of when you need to stake by in order to get paid your rewards, but that's why that only 8,980 mutants are eligible because the others that did just recently stake weren't already staked. But what's really cool about this is they're doing something similar to Ape Society where other projects are going to be allowed to stake using their platform. So this is going to give utility to a lot of other projects as well. This is going to help the entire mutant ecosystem as well as other ecosystems because the way that they're going to do it is that you need to have nine mutant NFTs staked on their platform and then fill out this form and the team will get back to you, do a call with you, speak on everything. But basically the way that you get to stake your project is by owning nine mutant NFTs. So for every service, people have to charge something. And I really like that they're charging people NFTs because this is just going to reward all of their holders and all the people that supported them. And also they do get a percentage of the royalties. So it's not like they're not making anything. I just overall think this is a great idea. Right now, there are currently eight projects that are able to use their staking platform. And if you go over to labs.mutant-nft.com, you can go stake if you own one of these NFTs. So right now you have to connect your wallet. I've already connected my wallet and I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna use my Journey High Pass, but first up, they have their own raffles. So for Journey's specific raffle, you can give 25 Mingo, which is their token, and you can get entered into this raffle. You can see there's a total of 163 entries, so you can do the math and determine how likely it is for you to win. But if you go over to their staking tab, and then it'll show you, once you connect your wallet, all of the NFTs that you own for this project. So right now, I just have the High Trip Pass in this wallet, 
I'm going to select it. I'll hit the stake right here. I'll wait for my sign to come up and then I'll sign it. And it's gonna cost me 3.75 ADA. So I skipped the password part. And now you can see over here that I don't have any NFTs and it's also not in my stakes. That's because the transaction is still processing. So do not worry when this happens to you. So while we wait, I wanted to talk about the staking and with each specific project, you're going to earn their currency, not mutant. But anyways, now heading back over to staking, it now shows that this one is staked, is staked five minutes ago, and I can click unstake if I would like to. I just wanna make it clear for everybody, this did take a few minutes to show up even after the transaction cleared, so just be patient. Last thing on their raffle, if you do want to use the raffle as a project owner, you're actually gonna to have to own three more mutants on top of the nine mutants for your staking. Now, if you wanna view all of the raffles at once, you can go over to the raffle tab, and the ones that are the newest will be at the top and you can just kind of scroll around. Maybe you already have some of these tokens and you can enter in. Right now there's about two days for this spoopy Naru and nobody has entered yet. So maybe it's a good time to try to get in. You know, once it gets closer to the time, I think a lot of people are gonna start entering, especially if the numbers are low, but it's just something to watch out for. There will be more utility coming for Mutant, as well as two new projects that are coming that you can only mint using Mutant. The first one is going to be art focused, and the second one you'll be able to mint this den where you can display all your NFTs on the project's website. There will also be auctions, and we've already spoken about the raffles for Cardano NFTs, but you can also do these for other chains NFTs if suggested by the community. There is also going to be this mutating chamber where you will be able to upgrade the art of your NFT starting with the Crocs. This will not impact your rarity. You can also get exclusive whitelist spots for future mints. You can use it to obtain exclusive merch and you can also use it once their game comes out. Lastly, there will still be two more collections to mint out for this project and they will come sometime in 2023. They will have their own utility and the light paper will be updated when they announce the new collections. So what you're looking at right now is their new roadmap. However, there won't be a new light paper or a written roadmap according to Andy in their Discord. He says, all we are going to do is on that map that we posted. The stealth launch meta is on. We will just launch it when it's that time, but do expect some sneak peeks. And then lastly, for Mutant, if you want to buy more of it and not just wait for your staking rewards, you can go over to minswap.org, go over to trade in the top left, and then select Mutant. So we already know that the next few launches are going to be stealth, so we don't know when, but we do know that they have a Twitter space tomorrow. We are in a slight bull market as far as Cardano, but I think that this is undervalued. I think that during this run, we could definitely see it pump at least a little bit harder. I think that there's a good opportunity here. I don't know exactly when to buy. I mean, I'm leaning towards right now, but look, nobody really knows. I just think this is an opportunity at some point, whether it's now, whether it's a few months from now, I really think that this coin is about to explode. But that's everything I wanted to cover in today's video, guys. I am very bullish on mutants. Their stealth launch, I think, is going to be really, really hype. Obviously, we have no idea when it's coming out, but they do have a Twitter space tomorrow that I think maybe they'll reveal some things in, so do pay attention to that. Space Buds just pumped another 700 ADA during this video. Clay Nation's above 3K. Holy crap, things are looking great. But don't stare at this screen all day. Remember to get outside, see your family, see your friends. We're here to make more money so that we can spend more time with them. Till next time, guys. Peace. I get it like a G, but it never came easy. You got me coughing up a lung, I wish I rap like Wheezy. I keep my pace, so I'm sorry that I'm breezy. Keep my sneaks laced, cause I can't afford Yeezys. I don't want the gold, give me BTC. Y'all be acting crazy. I